Man, you can't beat that sound, right? That is the sound of East Tennessee's treasure, the Great Smoky Mountains. And the highest point in that national park could soon see a name change that honors its history. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman spoke with one of the leaders behind this push. So it was a spiritual place and it's sacred. She's the mother of all mountains across the Smokies, known for her breathtaking mountain views and ecosystem. She stands at more than 6,600 feet above sea level. Her tribal name is Kuohi, or what many know today as Clemens Dome. All of these areas had names before someone moved into the area and just decided to claim the land and rename the places that were already named. Levita Hill is one of the leaders behind the effort of restoring the mountain to its original name. She is part of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, and she has called Cherokee, North Carolina home her entire life. And um, one of the Cherokee ways is Gadoogie, and Gadoogie is um, community fellowship and the fact that we help each other. For her, the restoration of the name reconnects her to a history that was often hidden from her. Her grandmother was a student at a boarding school in North Carolina, where indigenous children were forced to assimilate to American culture. Whole life I felt somewhat disconnected because, um, because of my upbringing, because my grandmother felt more like she should shield us or protect us from like the dirty side of our history. Mount Kuohi served as a place for refuge and healing. Within these peaks, tribal men would pray, ask for guidance, and give thanks, all in their native tongue. It's very important because that is our language, that is our identity. For thousands of years, tribe members used this mountain as a place for prayer, food, medicine, and even hiding during the Trail of Tears. It feels like we're being listened to. We're and people are taking notice and people are really beginning to understand how much land truly belonged to the Cherokee people before the Indian Removal Act. During the Trail of Tears in the early 1830s, thousands of Native Americans across Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, North Carolina, and Florida were pushed to the west. For the Cherokee tribe, this mountain was their haven. But then there's the resiliency of our people like they were steadfast and they remained part of them remained in the mountain hidden within the caves of Kuohi. From the highest peak of the Smoky Mountains I'm Maria Guzman back to you. Well, earlier this year, state leaders in the General Assembly signed a bill to support restoring the name to Kuohi. Cellist Yo-Yo Ma is also supporting that initiative. Right now, Levita Hill and members from the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians are working to submit the application to have the U.S. Geographic Naming Coalition restore the name. After that application is received, that review process will start.